What makes it so special down here, it's just unique, it's just so different. You can go from North Taranaki all the way down south and it's just different, eh Willis? It's grassroots fishing too, eh? I find you come down here surf casting, all you're doing is looking at that rod tip, man. That, that's the only, your only worry is that rod tip, not your phone in your pocket. There's something about it, eh? It just yeah. flicks the switch and you just zone out. You lose, you lose some pretty nice fish, eh? And it just makes you hungry to go back. Hungry. A big, a, a proper big one off the land in the Naki is, you know, it's like catching a marlin. It's, the froth levels are right up there, bro. Right up there. I think I would have been nine or eight. And um, I remember the old man used to have the old fiberglass, this old green fiberglass rod, only about sort of 10, maybe 12 foot. And he goes, oh, we'll go down surf cast. It was on a competition. We took a couple of rods out. He threw mine out for me. I was only, you know, pretty small. And um, that rod that he cast out for me was the, that was that one the day. That was my first proper memory of, of actually um, beach fishing, eh, surf casting. But it kind of encompasses what fishing in New Zealand is all about, coming to a place like this, a family batch, with stories dripping off the walls and listening to the lads talking about coming and fishing here as kids when they were barely old enough to drive the farm motorbike. It just adds a little bit of texture to the story that we've come to explore down here. And, you know, for me, that's the appeal of fishing, that exploring new places, hanging out with like-minded people, and as a little added bonus, you get to enjoy some fishing action as well. It's what fishing's all about to me. I love it.